So we're gonna go to different superchargers. We're gonna check out the rates, hopefully talk to a couple of people and see what they think about the new pricing. Well, what's great about uh, Tesla with the navigation, it's all Google Maps and it's giving you real time traffic. So everywhere that's in red is heavy traffic. Green Acres and this is a fully stacked mall you got some stores here you got your Walmart you got your BJ's and you got the big mall inside with a whole bunch of stores there's a lot of places to go you got restaurants up there you have Michaels it's like almost every store that you're looking for is here you got your Burlington you got your five below home good everything is here so this is a very popular a supercharging station but this used to be the like one of the first 150 kilowatts but now it turned into a 72 and but we're here to talk about the rates now the rate here at this charger is 44 cents a kilowatt with one dollar idle fee so you're getting 72 kilowatts now what that means is the rate of how much power is going into charging up your battery now at 44 cents, at 44 cents a kilowatt, right? Every 10 kilowatts will, on 44 cents, will equal out to $4.40. So you go up to 20 kilowatts, you're at $8.80. You get it? You go up again. So if you fill up from zero to 100, I know you'll never be at zero, but some people, you never know. From zero to 100 will cost you a $44 fee to charge up your car, $44. When you're telling me I used to charge up and never even pay $20. Yeah, these rates is going up, yeah. All right, so we got two Teslas right here. The people put their car to charge and they probably left to go check out the stores. Now you got these vehicles over here, these SUVs, but three Model Ys and a Model X at the end, right? They're in their car waiting. So you telling me we're spending just about, just about the same amount to charge up our car as you would pay at the pump. Now I charge up my Tesla, I'm gonna be paying 44 bucks? Huh? This is a Toyota Prius. This one's prime, so this one's a plug-in. So roughly to fill up this tank, it's 11.3 gallon tank. So roughly to fill up Priuses, and I have one from before, it's about 10 gallons. So 10 gallons will cost about $49. Yeah. This Tesla's gonna cost $44. Where's the benefit of having the Tesla? All right, so we're heading towards our next charging stop. Even though I ain't really looking to charge, but we're heading towards a 250 kilowatt charger. Let's go. To be fair, these rates are not going up from Tesla. They are going up from your local utility. Now, New York's local utility is Con Ed. These rates are being put up around 12 cents a kilowatt from Con Ed. So I have a 2010 Prius. I get on average between 46 to about 52 miles per gallon. And normally when I go to the gas station, which is now around $4.89, I'm filling up at around 10 gallons. But to be fair, it's 11.6 gallon tank. So I'm paying around 50 bucks to get it filled up. All right, this is Garden City Mall. I would say like uh, at least a good city block or more away to get to the mall. But you got Dick's Sporting Goods, you got JC Penny, you got a, a steakhouse over there, and I don't know what this 666 is. But here's your superchargers. This supercharger is a 250 kilowatt supercharger. It's fairly new. It has a lot of stalls. 
and it's gonna cost 42 cents a kilowatt there we go right there well 42 cents a kilowatt if you're looking to take your vehicle from zero to 100 is gonna cost you 42 dollars so if you roughly get by a supercharger with 10 percent here right and you're paying 42 cents a kilowatt every 10 kilowatts it's gonna be four dollars and twenty cents if you want to go from ten percent to ninety percent which you're giving the car eighty kilowatts right that's gonna cost you thirty three dollars and sixty cents that is equivalent to gas easy math every ten kilowatts is gonna be based on how much you're paying so if you're paying forty two cents a kilowatt 10 kilowatts is going to cost you four dollars and 20 cents a full charge from zero to 100 is going to cost you 42 dollars that is like you're freaking paying gas prices the difference is that you're paying so much money and you gotta wait you gotta wait and one night i waited here yeah and i noticed these look at that another one. Oh, do you see that one right there look 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 Watch this. You think this is magic I deal with? You think this is black magic? They're there, right? They're there. Look. Look. Look at it. Infrared. Look at it. Look at it. I wasn't, I didn't plan on doing this. I just wanted to get a charge at your new supercharger at the Garden State Plaza Mall, which some people know as as Roosevelt Field Mall. What's sad is I'm comparing the range of my Prius to a Tesla Model 3, which in a lot of cases, Priuses can get double the range of a Tesla. But when you're factoring in sports cars, uh, premium sedans, in a lot of cases, my Tesla Model 3, which gives 325 miles, can outdo those premium sports cars in range. Say hello to my little friend. So we're here and this is a 150 kilowatt charger, but they have two price tiers, a daytime price and a nighttime price. You can see right there, 150 max and it has a rate of 8 p.m. is 24 cents and daytime is 48 cents so this is pretty expensive in the daytime but it's after eight o'clock right now so i should be getting that rate of 24 cents we're at 44 percent which is 133 miles on my car and look at it we've got seven miles and we're at nine miles and we're at 63 cents so i'm going to let this stay it's going to come up to about two two dollars and forty cents and i'm going to stop it at 10 kilowatts all right so we gained 10 kilowatts which is 43 miles and it should have been at 240 but they'll probably adjust it later all right, they adjusted it as usual, $2.40 for 10 kilowatts. Let's get back to the video. So, at 24 cents, this is probably the cheapest you could find in town, right? So, from zero to 100 will cost you 24 bucks if you come here in the daytime you can spend up to 48 dollars to charge up from zero to 100 now of course that's an unlikely scenario but if you go from 10 percent to 90 percent you could pay an upwards of around 36 bucks to charge up your tesla in the daytime 24 cents from 10 percent to 90 percent which is 80 kilowatts you're gonna spend $19.20. So what we used to pay before is now in a way doubled because I used to walk out of this station at night paying $10. Now I would be paying almost 20 bucks. That is a big difference.
right, so what have we learned from this journey that we've taken to different superchargers? Yes, your Tesla is equivalent to four cylinder cars to fuel up. Yes, if you get one of the bigger Teslas, meaning the Model X or Model S, which have bigger batteries, you're not getting as much efficiency as you would get with like a Model 3, especially a Model 3 that's rear wheel drive. The most efficient models for Tesla is the rear wheel drive. Once you go do a motor, forget about it. It's not as efficient. They're improving, but where is the benefit of charging? Where is the benefit of charging up your car if you're paying just the amount, just about the same amount as you was paying for gas?